Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create our freckles. So we're going to go to the Spark AR website and we're going to find the face reference assets. So you can just Google Spark AR face assets or face reference, or I'll also include a link to this page in the description. So just click the download the face reference assets here. Just click that link. It'll download the zip file. And go ahead and unzip it. And what we're interested in are these uh, two textures. So they have face feminine, face masculine. Uh, these are some reference textures for how the image will map onto the face mesh inside of Spark. So open up your favorite graphics editor. Um, here I'm using Affinity Designer, but you can also use Photoshop or Illustrator or GIMP whatever you have. So here I've opened up um, face feminine and I also added face masculine and you can see that they're essentially the same uh, eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, everything lines up just different shading. So as far as placing freckles it doesn't matter what you choose. Um, you can also use the face mesh uh, that just kind of shows you how the vertices of the 3D face mesh will map up with the image. So if you really wanted uh, you could use just that as a reference, but I prefer using the actual faces. So this isn't um, a graphic design tutorial, so I'm not going to go into how to create freckles. Um, so in my case, I just created some stars. Uh, you can do that uh, using your software of choice, or you can make a more complicated design, or you can also go to Pixabay if you don't have great design skills, but you still want to do something more than just a basic shape, uh, you can change this category from images to illustrations. If you search for, say, a rainbow, now we can scroll down. Here's a nice looking design. We can click it. Uh, we have a transparent background, which is perfect for making freckles, and it's a free download. All these images on Pixabay are free to use. You can choose whatever resolution you want, download it, come into here, place the rainbows, and you're good to go. So once we do have our design, you want to hide everything except the design and export that as a PNG image. So that's all you need to do here, because this image, since we base it off of this, will map perfectly back onto the face mesh once we head into Spark. So export that. And then heading over to Spark, I just have a new blank project. And there are only a few things we need to add here. So up here in the scene panel, I'm going to add an object. I'm going to add a face mesh. I'll insert that. Let's expand this panel. Here we go. So there's our face mesh. Now let's get our freckles on there. So over here in the assets, we want to import the freckles image. Uh, that we just exported. So I'm just going to click and drag that in. I'm also going to add a material. And I'll call that freckles. So with my freckles material selected, um, for the diffuse texture, I'm going to choose the star freckles. Now if I select the face mesh, I'll add a material, choose freckles, and there are our freckles. So um, this is the look I'm going for. So there are a few different things we can try. So if I select my material again, I can change the shader type to flat. So if I was using, say, that rainbow image, this would be a good choice because it's just going to be the image. It's not going to apply any light or shadows. It's just the image. So. Um, if I just want like a solid color, this looks pretty good too. But I wanted kind of that shiny sticker feel. So I'm going to go to physically based. And now since um, my freckles image is all white, I can come here to the color and I can adjust the color right here. So I'm going to choose a nice gold color. And now I'm going to turn up uh, the metallic to make them shiny but uh, you can see we don't really see much shine. So what I want to do is add an environment texture to get the reflections. So I'll turn on environment and I don't have an environment texture yet. So I'm going to search AR library. Uh, this is all built into Spark. Uh, you can choose whichever one you want. I'm going to use interior. 
import free and it's been added and now you can see our stars have a nice reflection in there now you can see them from more angles and as it turns its head it's as if there's light reflecting into the stickers i'm going to turn the roughness up just a little bit so roughness uh, kind of washes out the reflection so if i go up really high um, we lose the reflections if we come all the way down it's going to be like a mirror so I'm just going to turn it up just a little bit, kind of soften that up a little bit. And now the effect is done. That's all you need to do. Uh, the hardest step is probably just coming up with the freckle design. Uh, because once you add it uh, to this template, get all positioned, all you really need to do is just add it to the face mesh. And then adjust the shader to make it look how you want. So now. From here, all you gotta do is just submit your effect and you're good to go.